Hey, how's it going, guys? Dalton here with another video on the YouTube channel. And in today's GTA 6 video, today we're going over 25 more features that I was able to dive into in the GTA 6 gameplay footage. We're going to be going over all that today in this video. So if you guys do enjoy these videos like this on the channel, don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. So that's right, I found 25 more features that you might not have known about in the GTA 6 gameplay. And we're going to be going over all of them today. So let's get into it today and let's get it started today. So Number one today, I've noticed some information on our protagonist characters. We have our female Latino protagonist character, and she's the female one. Her name is Lucia, or Lucia, and then we have our male protagonist character, and that is their Caucasian white guy named Jason. Those are our two protagonist characters, so those are the ones that I've noticed so far, and Jason actually has special abilities that can be obtained while robbing the diner which i thought that was pretty cool i didn't even know that he could actually have special abilities and some of these haven't been revealed but it looks like superhero abilities are going to be coming to gta 6 which is going to be pretty cool for all of us because we've never had that and number three today is crouching moving and shooting while crouch so crouching and moving mechanics have changed just like gta 4 was i think gta san andreas and gta 4 were really the last games we were able to crouch all the way michael franklin and trevor do crouch but they only crouch a little bit this one is changing the mechanics of the game so that's all going to change in gta 6 for our female protagonist and our male protagonist as well that's another change that i've noticed and of course number four today is limited inventory where you can have as much stock in your inventory as possible such as your med kit such as your duffel bag for robbing the diners and some other various drugs that are going to be a side quest mission in game we'll dive into that a little bit later on of course so the expandable inventory is basically you can expand your inventory over time in gta 6 and there's a scene where jason can actually be using about five slots for weapons which and melee weapons and two more slots so those are all the various upgrades that they have added to the game so that's pretty cool i'm excited to actually dive into that exactly with the new prone positions and moving while prone that is definitely something that's going to be added and stealth is number six rockstar games have worked on gta 6 will now even be in advanced stealth options we could make sense since crouching and prone positions have been added but they might as well just avoid gunfire for all we know as the game is far from the release and only then we will know however one video did show some of the testing enemies and ia detecting players while an enemy field of view for the meanwhile you can pick up bodies for an option to hints towards animation so that's pretty cool now number seven today is weapon picking up and animations that are going to be added into the game so you can officially pick up a weapon without it automatically you just hit x on the controller or you know if you're on playstation or xbox it all varies either way you can now pick up weapons without automatically picking up which i think that's quite nice and of course new animations are going to be available for you as separate weapons as well number eight today is partners in crime it looks like lucia and jason will be robbing a store and diner together and they will be partners like companions and they will be seen there's also a scene where they were you know shot robbing a diner and shooting police in the gameplay which i thought that was pretty cool it's kind of just like the bonnie and clyde mysteries that have been confirmed that gta 6 is going to be based off of bonnie and clyde which is going to be quite nice as well and of course number 10 is different vehicles and number 11 today is hovercrafts we can add, we've seen a little bit of them making a return in the series of gta san andreas there was a clip that shown i think it shown an abandoned hovercraft made by jason leading us to believe that there will be indeed drivable vehicles so hovercrafts are going to be a major new vehicle added to the game and of course number 11 today would be picking up bodies our characters can actually pick up bodies i don't know how that's going to work or the mechanics i don't know if we're just going to automatically have to pick up a dead body off the street or if we just pick up a random body and missions i don't know i really do think this one's definitely going to be something i'm a van 
going to take advantage of. And number 12 today, Vice City. We definitely know GTA 6 is going to be take place in Vice City with the surrounding environment. One thing to note that the building behind Vice City written on it. Many other clips also indicate the setting in Vice City, such as police cars that read the VCPD, which means obviously, you know, Vice City Police Department. And then you obviously got the train, the metro station written on it, VCP Metro Station. So like I said, Vice City Metro Station, Vice City Police Department. So that's how we know it is in Vice City. Number 13 today, travel by subway. Just like GTA 4, you can now officially travel by a tram or a subway. That is something that Rockstar also is going to be adding. And of course, number 14, restraining NPCs and surrendering. So it, now it looks like we're going to be able, there's a scene in game where Lucia will actually be tying up an NPC and then we can also get the NPCs to surrender so that is going to be quite nice if that's going to be kind of like Red Dead Redemption 2 I like how Rockstar Games are comparing it to that game which I'm a big fan of Red Dead Redemption 2 so I think this goes good with GTA 6 number 15 today takes place after GTA 5 we can see that Jay Norris makes his return in GTA 6 there's a various conversation where uh, Jason will actually have a conversation with Jay Norris Norris and talk about how he's dead and maybe he's not dead maybe he didn't actually die it looks like Jay Norris is going to make a return that's going to be quite nice 16 is strip clubs various strip clubs will be all over the Miami map and of course number 17 today are new car interiors that will be added into the game so there's a scene in the GTA 6 gameplay footage of Lucia and uh, Jason looking into a car and it shows the car interior which is actually really really cool that we're going to be able to see cars in various games number 18 is cloth and physics which are going to be doing different cloths and clothing physics and mechanics that will be added to the game as well so how you change your clothes like sometimes uh lucia can be you know wearing a dress and jason can be wearing a red cap it looks like we can also change those abilities just like gta 5 so that's another cool thing and number 19 today is blocking the npcs of a kind of blocking mechanic can also be seen with both melee weapons and empty hands and guns i'm not sure in several videos there has been blocking containing in gta 6 so that's another cool thing that will be added number 20 today is it looks like jetpacks are going to be making a return back into the game. In GTA San Andreas, we had a lot of fun with the jetpacks, you know, raiding. Um, I think it's called Area 59 or Area 69. Um, you get to raid that jetpack with Truth and CJ. I'm very excited to dive back into jetpacks. Those are going to be added. Number 21, WhatsApp messaging app like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are all coming back to the game on our basic phone. So that is very, very cool. And of course, number 20. 21 and 22 a sex robot shop will be added for some of the new buildings such as superstores um, we got different pawn shops various you know water parks water slides and we also got a football stadium that's going to contain in vice city miami definitely lots of beaches landmarks such as swamps there's going to be alligators involved that's number 25 today and of course, the last feature that I was able to actually see is we're going to be getting different car mechanics and we're going to get accessible interiors. That's going to be pretty cool to take advantage of. And other ones that I didn't want to throw in this video, it looks like like pawn shops, we're going to get like golf club, like a whole like golf club where you can shoot golf clubs kind of like in it gay tony that's going to be featured and some other ones are various really cool ones like stores and shops and you know strip clubs or various are going to be added to gta 6 we're definitely going to be getting some new gun stores added to the game and lots of other you know Melanious things and in interiors but anyway guys that is all the information i got for you guys on this video today that is 25 features that i was able to dig up in the gta 6 gameplay if you have some extra ones that you thought maybe i've forgotten you guys can definitely let us know in the comments down below we all love to hear from you guys down there like i said guys if you guys did enjoy don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily awesome videos such as gta 6 content and gta 5 content that i'll be doing on my channel subscribe for more of those but like i said guys thanks for watching hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys all later on the next video